G'day guys, Vincent here from Solar and Sat Bundaberg. This week we've got this awesome VW Amarok. It's got a black STR canopy on the back and the customers come to us for a full Victron Lithium smart battery installation. I'll show you exactly what we're putting into it. So what we've got, I'll basically start from right to left, but we're gonna be mounting everything up on this wall here. We'll cut out a piece of marine ply on the CNC router, carpet it up with that nice carpet, secure it in place, and that's gonna be what we mount everything to. We won't be mounting the Victron 15 amp mains charger because that comes with the blue carry case. That's so the customer can use it for other purposes like charging up his boat battery and charging up this system as well, but it's not gonna be hard mounted in here. This system is a full Victron lithium smart battery system. So we've got the 200 amp hour Victron lithium battery. We've also got a 30 amp Orion DC-DC charger. Basically we will run a 13 mil cable from the starter battery into the system at the rear here. That'll charge his battery while he's driving along the road. We've got the 500 volt amp Phoenix Victron inverter. The customer's gonna use that for charging up his drill batteries, 240 volt appliances while he's on the road. We've got the BMS and the battery protect, which is essential for whenever you have a Victron smart lithium battery. This is in case there was ever an issue. What'll happen is this will cut out to protect the battery and the entire system. Safety Hub 150, we've got our Shervy 600 mil LED strip light, so white and amber dimmable. He'll have one on each door and one at the back of the canopy facing in. That'll be on a switch so we can access that from this side. The 7515 Victron solar controller, that's going to be paired with the 220 watt Shervy portable solar panel. So that's because the customer's got massive racks up on the roof for his boat. We can't fit a panel up there so we've opted for the portable and the 7515 all he has to do is plug his panel into the back at the rear where all of his other Anderson plugs are through a blue plug, nice and easy. Got the battery monitor. So this is essential for whenever you have a lithium battery, you should have a shunt monitor. And that's so you can see exactly how much power is going in, exactly how much power is going out. You can see your battery percentage, tells you everything you need to know. So that's pretty much everything going into the job. Time to get stuck into it. Let's giddy up. So here we are, we've completed the Victron Smart installation and I'm gonna give you guys a run through of exactly what we've done, what's gone into it and how it all works. So just to make our lives easier, what we did was we cut the board out, put it all on a bench, wired everything up on the bench that we could, slid it in here, screwed it into the main frame of the canopy. We've used ducting to keep all of our cables nice and neat. The cable ducting makes it easier for anyone that needs to add anything in the future. Instead of having all the cables routed through the back, a lot easier to get access to the system from here and basically I'll start over this side we've got the 200 amp hour Victron lithium smart battery we've got our Victron smart shunt monitor the Victron 7515 solar regulator our DC charger our loads battery protect and our VE bus BMS the whole idea of these two units if there's ever an issue with the loads over temperature short circuit, what will happen is that will cut out and prevent anything from damaging the battery as well as the charger. If there's any issues with the chargers, that will cut out and stop anything from damaging the battery. And that's how you get such a long lifespan out of the lithium smart battery. As you'll see, we've also got two separate fuse blocks here too. So on the Safety Hub 150, this controls all of the loads. So when I say loads, I mean things that are drawing power from the battery, like the fridge, lights, 12 volt pump, all that sort of stuff, comes off this fuse block here. Everything's heat shrinked, everything's labeled nice and neat. So as you can see, we've got the fridge, which is D, 30 amp. Before you even open that case up, you know that the fridge is running off a 30 amp blade fuse. There's spare spots if anyone wants to add anything to it in the future, it's easy enough. This then runs to these switches on this switch panel. So this switch panel is aluminium, same again, cut out on the router, powder coated, houses everything like their USB-Cs and their battery monitor. Got two switches here, one's for all the LED light strips, and then we've got another one that will turn the power onto the inverter as well, instead of the customer having to reach around the back and fiddle with the switch, that makes it a lot easier. We've got two spare, if anyone wants to add anything in the future, like a hot water system, a 12 volt pump, it's just a matter of taking that panel off and wiring it to that panel. The battery monitor, we can see at the moment our battery is sitting at 96%. We're pulling 6.6 .6 amps out of the battery. 
and that's while running the lights and the fridge, you'll be able to see how much power is coming in from all your charges here too. We've got the 500 volt amp inverter, and as you can see, we've got two Anderson plugs here too, nice and labeled so the customer knows this is the one that he plugs his mains charger into when he wants to top the battery up, and this is the one that he plugs any drawing appliances into that have an Anderson plug on it, so that's a load output. So here we've got the Victron IP65 waterproof mains charger. This is what the customer will put in his carry case, and he can actually plug it straight into his system here, set it to suit whatever battery is charging, in this case lithium. But if he wants to charge up a different battery, like the one in his boat, being an AGM battery, all he has to do is disconnect it from here, connect that on, put that straight onto his other battery, and set it to suit whatever type of battery he's charging, and he's good to go. And basically all we've got to do now is get it outside, put the Shervy 220 watt folding solar panel out and charge the batteries up, ready to hand it all over to the customer. So there you go guys, that's our own Shervy portable 220 watt solar panel, working an absolute treat. We're putting almost six amps back into the battery now, so these customers aren't going to have a worry in the world. If you're looking for a similar sort of setup to this, come and see the team down at Solar Inset Bundaberg. Cheers. Yeah.